Anna asked Jason to give her two hours. I said, two hours? I wouldn't give you two nothing. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester for General Hospital, July 16, 2024. Okay, y'all. So first of all, how y'all doing? Y'all all right? Y'all good? Secondly, I said, doesn't that defeat the entire purpose of the whole little situation? If he give um, Agent John the phone or whatever, but not Valentine, or he finds out that they let him go, what, what, what good does that do him? But yeah, okay. I guess we're going to start there. <laughs> and they're going to have the audacity to ask Jason to give her two hours or whatever. So first she said, let me see if I wrote it down. She doesn't want Case to take Valentine away. Um, and I wrote down, I said, Jason should have said what they got to do with me. <laughs> She over here talking about some Charlotte only has Valentine and all this. Her mama little come up. The sob story. She crying and stuff. I said, pull it together. I said, pull it together. Because first of all, first of all, um, what's his name? Jason should have known better. He should have known better. But also, y'all know the show, the preview at the end of the episode. And Jason is talking to Agent John. So I'm wondering, has the two arrows been up? Or did he double cross? Not double cross her because she done double cross him basically, if we're being honest or whatever. So I said, I wonder if the time came up or he just been following these folks. Or maybe he just there because he be popping up. Agent John just be popping up everywhere. <laughs> then he got a call too when he left Ava's or left her hotel. But yeah, so she going to ask for two doggone hours. I was waiting on her to get to Valentine. That's what I wanted to see. So she finally make it. She's like, where's Charlotte? You need to get her back here. You need to get a bag and leave or whatever. And he's like, what did you do? What did you do? She told my son, I turned you into the FBI. I said, you ain't turned him in nowhere. You gave the dog on phone. And I said, first of all, I wanted to know um, what was on there or whatever, if it was the actual thing, but I guess so. But yeah, by that time, it got to the end of the episode and it was over with. It was over with. I said, really? I said, really? Y'all think Valentine gonna be upset or what? I mean, she is warning him. She is tipping them off. And I said, what? I said that didn't make that defeated the whole purpose because you got the phone, but you don't allow her to tip him off. So what good does it do? And then Agent John already convinced that Anna is involved, and now she over here helping him. I said you need to. <laughs> I immediately thought about. Uh, I don't know why. Anytime I'm watching these shows, I think about Friday. Uh, which one was? It? I think Friday after next when uh Uncle Edward was like, "You need to turn in your badge." <laughs> I said, you need to turn in your badge. I said these then these agents and cops don't be caring. They pick and choose. Now, Laura done did all this talk, but she trying to help. She she ain't trying to help. Let me correct myself because people keep saying she ain't fully say she wanted to help Heather get out of jail. She just want justice or whatever. People are saying she need to uh, step down. Then they say Anna need to step down as well. Then Agent John over here, and y'all not spoke on this before. I don't know if it was on General Hospital, the Bold and Beautiful, or one of Tyler Perry's shows, but I spoke on it before. I said they actually, with Agent John on today's episode, he was talking to Ava. And he over here trying to build a case. He wants her to help build a case against Sonny. And I said, you talking to one criminal about another criminal. I said, what? I said, I guess they don't be caring. Yeah, yeah. I said, I guess they don't be caring. They really don't be caring. That's why I was talking about these agents and cops don't be caring at all. You willing to turn a blind eye to the obvious just to put one criminal away. You taking the word of another criminal. That whole little situation is crazy. But it looked like um, Jason is talking to Agent John about that on tomorrow's episode. Because he's like, I wouldn't trust one word that one woman said. I said, right. I said, right. And I feel like Agent John can tell she full of baloney. Because he mentioned how they was getting along at first. Then she going to sit up here. <laughs> she started talking about, um, I don't know. He's just so erratic. And she's erratic. And she keeps saying the same thing or whatever. And then she was like, he thinks I turned in his daughter. Or turned, basically revealed uh christina and blaze relationship or whatever and i said lady 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 but yeah he trying to get i said he desperate he is desperate at this point i know what i forgot anna i had wrote down i said anna knows she never had any intention on turning valentine in that's why anytime jason spoke on it or asked her anything um she was making an excuse to be like oh no it's not him that's why i remember when um I think Jason had got called in for questioning or something, and she was calling. She was, they were trying to see if uh, Sonny had the phone. And then she seen it with Valentine, and she's like, you good? you free to go? What she tell him? You free to go? She said, that's it. Those are the questions I have. And he was like, who was on the phone? She trying to get rid of him. Since then, we should have known. We should have known she wasn't trying to turn this man in. But, yeah, I said, I wonder how Valentine is going to react on tomorrow's episode. But, yeah, look at here. It's time to move this storyline along now. I said, okay, oh, I know. 
Agent John had got a, when he was on the call, he was like, he didn't know anything about a shipment. If remember, Valentine said something about Sonny and a shipment or something like that. They trying to blame him. So I'm like, okay, maybe we finna see some progression. I don't know. It's about that time, but we'll see. We'll see. Let me see. Who else we got? Who else we got? I already talked about Jason and Anna. She talking about two hours. Two hours. First of all, I don't take that long. To, I guess she want him to be out of town by then or something like that. I know. Natalia. Natalia ended up showing up and confronting Ava or whatever. She trying to figure out her end game. And she was like, Sonny, they ain't going to have nothing to do with you and all this stuff. And <laughs> Natalia was like, yeah, he's he's mad. He's angry. But about that recording or whatever, the look on Ava's face. I said, you did all that just to get this man. And he still didn't want you. And you got put out. And then you go do stupid stuff. And I said, look, this is, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But yeah, she confronted her. But I got a question. I got a question. Because um, it was a lot of noise, so I missed that part. What did Sonny say to Nina? What did he want her to do? Like, what are they up to? Oh, I think I know. Because they showed a preview. Does he want her to testify? Because she was saying something, I'm guessing. She was talking to A1 on tomorrow's episode, and she was saying something about testifying. I said, not you getting all your ex-wives. Was he ever married to Alexis? But, yeah, not you getting all your women. <laughs> he getting all his women. I said, they ain't supposed to take their word for it anyways, right? I don't know. <laughs> he, he over here collecting his women so that they can have his back. Then, look, look, Willow, we got to talk about Willow. We got to talk about Willow. She over here, um, first of all, yesterday I missed that part where uh, she went in the office. She was like, Drew, I've been thinking a lot about this or whatever. And it was Michael. I said, I wish he would have said something. I wish he had slipped up and said something. And he'd been like, what What are you talking about or whatever? Get that out the way. Because y'all know how long these doggone secrets be lasting? Too long. Too long. But after she left there, I'm guessing, she stopped by Sonny's. And she went to talking about Nina and they're cool now and all this other stuff. Then she got to the point. She got to the point. She trying to uh, basically get him to forgive Michael. He said he'll think about it. But we know right now, Sonny ain't think about nothing. He ain't think about nothing. <laughs> but um, she, once she seen him on that phone, she's like, I got to get up out of here. <laughs> she seen him on that phone. And he was upset because Diane was in another meeting or was working with another client or something. He was upset about she got up then, talking about, so is everything okay? He started talking about Ava and Avery and everything, and she was like, okay. She had to go then. She had to go then to look on her face. But since we talk about Willow, we might as well go to Nina and Drew. So she don't smack fire from his face. She upset or whatever. The look, on, <laughs> look, she smack. Do they be slapping these folks for real? I know I had watched the behind the scenes one time, and they were saying it was fake. And they make the sound effect and all this other stuff. And on some shows, it be real. I just passed by a clip. What was it? Yesterday or day before yesterday? Of um, I don't know if y'all ever watched that movie. What was it? The Best Man? And Neil Long and um, Tay Diggs. I think that's his name. They was talking about that slap. And they were saying it was actually real. And I was like, what? And it wasn't in the script. And I was like, so do these people be slapping these folks for real? Or do they get stun doubles? I know sometimes they get stun doubles on movies and stuff like that. But yeah, I said, like, look, uh-uh. But yeah, after she smacked fire from his face, <laughs> he was like, okay, well, she basically revealed she knows about the kids and she was basically talking to him. He was like, oh, it was a mistake. I thought she was going to hit him with the, uh, she told me, you said in another life, y'all be together. Y'all, you wonder if y'all could be together and all this other stuff. He over here doing what they do. What they say, anytime they get caught slipping. Oh, it was a mistake. It shouldn't happen. It was an accident. We was just caught up in the moment. You think he going to care about that? You think he going to care about then? After the kiss, Willow was saying how it been brewing. It been brewing. And after the kiss, he said how he imagined basically a life with her if in another world or whatever. But yeah, he over here telling her this hoopla or whatever. Then they shared a moment. I was like, I know, I know, doggone well. I said, I know they went about to sleep together again. I think the phone call had interrupted them. I said, I know. I said, uh, uh, she should be weirded out at that point. At that point, but I don't know. They didn't show anything. It's just they got real quiet and started looking at each other or whatever. He started talking about working out another deal and all this other stuff i said drew really i said really but who else we didn't do i think j just uh geo now geo dex jocelyn and lois lois came to geo talking about she had an opportunity for him he turned it down or whatever oh i know what did i see i don't know if it was in the preview or something something about geo what was it something about geo and sunny was it about sunny it was something that i was going to talk to y'all about because people been speculating something's going on with this geo character but we'll see but yeah, he ain't no telling Lois he couldn't do it because of his obligations. With Dex and Jocelyn, they was kissing and everything. I said, it looked like they back together. We'll see. We'll see how long they last. Because I want to see if people write when they've been saying that it's going to be a little triangle between Geo, Dex, and... Not Dex, Lord. 
Gio, Jocelyn, and uh, Trina. But I think that's everybody. Not too much happened again, but we'll see. We'll see what's next. Let me know your thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, do this. Have a great rest of the day and be safe.